Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video of our Exponential Expression series, we're now going to look at how we can expand exponential expressions, but now we're going to add a second step, and that st second step is we're going to start to simplify those exponential expressions. So we're still going to use those same rules, those same uh, tactics that we did in the last video. We're going to want to expand those exponential expressions out. But after that, we want to see, can we simplify them and kind of put them back together? Can we now combine them into a more simpler way? So let's start off with the exponential expression n cubed times n to the fifth. Okay, n cubed, or n to the third power, times n to the fifth. First step that we want to do is we want to expand. Okay, we're going to be expanding this exponential expression. So I see n cubed. That means I'm going to have n multiplying itself three times. That is the first term. Now it's multiplying n to the fifth. So I'm going to write out n times itself five times. And that's what we call expanding. All I'm doing is getting rid of the exponents and showing that it's expanded. Now the next step that we're going to add here is we're going to now see can we simplify this expression so that we can make it look a little cleaner. If we can combine any terms, we always want to simplify if possible. Now looking here, I just see it's n times 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 n. So what I think I'm seeing here is repeated multiplication. I think what we can do now is we can now combine these terms back into a single exponential expression so that we can put the exponent back on. Do we see there that I have the term n and it has repeated multiplication? How many n's do you see in there? I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So another way of writing that out could just be n to the eighth power. That is what we call expanding and simplifying. We take the expression, we first want to expand it out, show all of the letters, all of the numbers, how many times are they multiplying, and then let's see if we can simplify it and combine them into a single term. All right, let's take a look at another one. Let's look at the expression m to the fifth power times m to the fourth power. Again, what we want to do here first is we want to take some time to expand that out. So I see m to the fifth. I'm going to have m multiplying itself five times times m to the fourth power, which means I'm going to have m multiplying itself four times. Okay, again, that's the expanding move. Now we want to look at the simplifying part. And we want to see, is there a way for us to combine all of these m's into a single term? And I think we can. I see that I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 different m's there. So I can simplify this ex expression as m to the ninth power. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do one more example, and this time for this example, let's look at what happens when we have an exponential expression that has a division problem in there. So let's go ahead and write out this example. The example I want to work on is 14 x to the fourth power over 7 x to the third power. Okay, this is our next exponential expression, and what we're looking at again is, can we expand this out, and can we simplify it once we are done expanding? So, talking about expanding, well, I know I'm still going to have the fraction bar there. 
I see that we have 14, only one 14. Remember, the four here, the exponent's my four. It's not on the 14, it's only on the x. But now I can show that there are four x's in my numerator. Now in the denominator, I still have the seven. But now I have x cubed, or x to the third power. So I'm going to show that there are three x's on the bottom. Again, this is how we expand. Now we wanna look at, can we show how to simplify? And simplifying again is, can we combine any terms? Is there anything that we can simplify to make this expression nice and neat? So first thing that I wanna look at is the 14 over the seven. I see that we have 14 over seven. Well, 14 over seven is the same thing as 14 divided by seven, right? Because seven here, seven can go into seven one time and seven can go into 14 two times. So do we see that 14 over seven is going to reduce to two over one? Right, that's what 14 over seven reduces to. 14 divided by seven just becomes two over one. Now let's see if we can apply that same principle now to our variables. I see up here that I have four x's and I have three x's on the bottom. But thinking along the same lines that we did with the numbers, do we see that the x here on the bottom, the first x and the first x in my numerator that these two, when I take x and I divide it by x, that these two are just going to cancel because x divided by x just becomes one. So my x on the numerator and the x on the denominator, they cancel out and they just become a one. And I can continue this process as I move along my fraction. These two x's will cancel these two x's will cancel, and now I'm just left with my single x variable there. What we've done is we have simplified that fraction, and we've taken out all of the x's that would just cancel out to one. We're almost done here. I see two x over one. I really don't need to write over one because anything that divides by one is just what the numerator is. So our final simplified version of this would just be 2x. All right, everyone, it's that math magician. And in the next video, we're gonna look at more examples of exponential expressions.